All right, so let's talk about how to actually get your patient on a bedpan. If you've never done this before, the logistics are like, how do I do this? Patient can't get up, like how do we physically get a bedpan under them? Wonderful question, I'm glad you asked, we're here to show you. Okay, so let's pretend this patient just put on their call light, they really need to get on a bedpan, they're not safe to get on the bedside commode. This is how, like if Jeannie and I were coming in, how we would attack that, okay? So when you come in the room, make sure you put the bed at the height that's good for you. We already put this up a little bit because this is a little awkward pushing it up. So we went ahead and got it where we needed to. And now we'll take our side rails down so that we can kind of get in there. All right, so let's get our side rails. All right. All right, so Miss Smith, you need to get on the bedpan. So let's go ahead and put you down a little bit here. Okay. And then which way do you want to roll? Let's roll towards you. Okay. All so right, I'm going to get you uncovered here. This is a clean bedpan, y'all. All right. So I'm gonna take, we're gonna roll towards me, okay? And so we're gonna take the patient and roll them on their side. Yep, and you're gonna imagine that this is like a toilet seat. And so you're gonna put it right there and imagine them sitting on it and then get them right in good place and hold on to it while you roll them over. Yeah, make sure you hold on to them. It is a little awkward. And then usually from this side, you need to do a little ump, just, just a little bit to get them kind of centered on there. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna sit them up a little, kind of like they're on a toilet. Mm -hmm. And then what you wanna do, cover, maybe cover them back up depending upon what they like. Mm -hmm. And depending upon safety level with the patient, you, you could give them privacy at this time if you mm -hmm. wanted to put the side rail up or pull mm -hmm. the curtain stand on the other side. I've had patients mm -hmm. say, hey, I need like 20 minutes here. <laughs> but don't forget that they're mm -hmm. on the bedpan because staying on that for a while can create bed sores and like really hurt their backside. Yes, for sure. So let's show how we take them off, okay? Okay. So let's go ahead and put her, put her back down. Not like fully flat, but enough. Pull this. Do you want to go back towards me again? Sure. Okay. And you can always ask the patient which way is it easiest for them to roll to and then roll them to that side. Okay. I'm going to get their arm kind of. And if, the, if I had a side rail up, I could ask for them to reach for the side rail. Okay. And I kind of support their arm and their shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then you just pull it out and try, try to be careful not to spill. Imagine we have gloves on, because yes. obviously we would not be doing this barehanded, right? Lord, no. And then you can take this, and I know in nursing school they tell you don't put anything on the floor, but depending on how um, stable your patient is when you're rolling them back and forth, it can be okay to set it down real quickly, but just remember, don't step in it, okay? Because people have done that and it's, you know, it's hard to it grosses from you out. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna imagine I'm just putting it down there and then this is where you would do all your cleaning from, make sure they're nice and dry. It's a great time to check their back, like look at their skin, do a skin assessment, um, and then you can just roll them back. And then typically they have slid kind of down in the bed, so you'd probably have to boost them back up so me and Jeannie can, one, two, three, three. boost. You get them maybe if they needed a gown change, you could do that at this time or, or um, mm -hmm. getting a new blanket for some reason. Um, and then you would dispose of that. Typically, you'd go in the bathroom, dump that. Um, and if it's bad enough, you just you get rid of the whole thing. It just <laughs> just a situation by situation kind of mm -hmm. kind of judgment there. So yeah. that is how you get someone on and off a bedpan. Mm -hmm.